Hello, I am so glad you can join me today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Guys, today I'm making a fun treat for you. I'm making empanadas. And if you're from the Caribbean, you know what beef patties are. They're something or they're kind of close to beef patties but they're empanadas, okay? So we're gonna make those today. And for a lot of you that have been asking for Camden, I'm at Camden's house, so guess who's gonna be here in a little while? Mr. Camden. We're excited. Cam is here, he's taking a nap. He has been taking a nap. He's been a little bit cranky, so I wanna make sure that when he comes on to say hello to you, he's in a good mood. So he should be up from his nap in a few minutes. So it's just gonna give me a little time to kind of prep things and get things started before he wake up, okay? So I'm excited for you guys to see Camden. So to our empanadas that we're gonna be making today, we're gonna get started with some peppers we have here. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these all cut up and all situated, and then I'm gonna come back and show you what we're gonna do next. Okay guys, so we're back our Peppers and onions are all chopped up and I have my garlic. I have to get the garlic But first now I'm gonna start by browning this meat I'm gonna put this meat in the pan and start to brown this meat and just throw off the oil and get started So come over to the stove so I can show you how I do it. All right guys So I have some ground beef in here. What I'm gonna do is let this ground beef right here Let whatever oil comes out. I pour the oil off. I don't like cooking with all that oil so I'm just gonna let us brown for a minute. I'm not adding anything right now. I'm just gonna let that brown and then pour off the oil off of it and then start to add my peppers and seasonings and stuff to it. Now I'm gonna drain this a little bit to get this oil off of this. I have my, I'm gonna, oops. Drain all that oil, all that fat. We don't want that on here. And then put this in here, back in here. And back on the stove we go. Now I'm gonna lower my stove a little bit and I'm gonna start adding some stuff to that. So the first thing I'm gonna add to this is my onion. I'm going to the onions there. I'm gonna add some garlic. And you mix it up. Then we're gonna season this guy up. All right guys, so we're gonna season this up a little bit. So I am not gonna measure because as I always say to you, just add a little bit of everything and then go ahead and taste it when you're done. And if you need more, just add more to it. So um, I'm not going to measure right now. I'm just gonna pour some stuff. This is some Old Bay seasoning. I'm just gonna put a little bit in it. You just season it to your taste, okay? This is some paprika. I'm gonna put some paprika in there. I have some ketchup. I'm gonna put some ketchup in here. This bottle is almost empty, guys. Look at that. I'm not at my apartment. I'm at my daughter's. So I have to use what she have. Okay, so this is a little parsley flakes I'm putting in here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper just to see if we could get it open up. Just a little bit of black pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Season it well. Mix it up well. Oh, I'm messing up the stove. I'm just dropping stuff. The pan is kind of shallow. It's not high enough. If you have a, a deeper pan, it's always better. Then I'm going to add to that some peppers. I have right now my stove on medium. So I'm just gonna let it cook for a while. And when it's cooked, then I'm gonna take it off and put it aside. But um, I'm gonna put a cover on here and let it cook for a while. Who's up? Camden say hello. Camden just got up. He's getting a little snack. In the meantime, he's gonna have his lunch in a few minutes. So I just give him that to keep him quiet because he's a little bit hungry. Say hello. Say hi. All your friends have been asking for you. Look, guys, look how big Camden is getting a look. 
Look, look how tall he is, look. Say hi, show them how tall you are. He is a big boy now, he is tall, right Camden? You gotta say hello to your friends, yes. Yes, you can say hello to them. Guys, Camden is getting big. And guys, I'm at my daughter's as I told you, so there's a lot of activity going on here. What? Listen, he, I'm gonna put him in his high chair. You're gonna see him in a couple minutes because he's hungry. So let me go feed him and then we're gonna come back and get our food going. Come here, come here, mister. When he's hungry, he don't play around. He's hungry, he want your food, right? Hey, let me ask him for you. Okay. Okay guys, so our meat is finished cooking right now. So what I'm gonna do, and guys, when you're cooking this meat, as I said, add your favorite season, add some fresh thyme. You know, I'm not home right now, I don't have time, so I don't use this, but you know, add whatever your favorite seasoning is to make your food tasty, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my stove off. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put this aside and let it stand and cool while we go on to making our pastries. So I'll be back with our pastry making. Guys, so let's go on to the next step. While our meat is over there cooling, we're gonna start on making our pastry. That noise that you hear in the back, that's my Camden, he's trying to shoot a basketball. So the first thing we're gonna do in here is I have, in this bowl, I have two cups of flour. To my flour, I'm gonna add here half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm also gonna measure here, I'm also gonna measure half a teaspoon of baking powder and put that in there. Next thing I'm gonna do is combine all this together so that everything is combined well together. And in here, in the center, you know I always make my little well, but what else do I have here? Let me show you, I have here a quarter cup of cold water. I have a quarter cup of butter, cold butter. I cut it up into small pieces. And I have one egg, and this is what I'm gonna be using in here, okay? So once you've combined the flour, the salt, and the baking powder together, we're gonna go in with our butter, and I'm gonna add my butter to that. Your butter is gonna be nice and cold. And then what I'm gonna do, make sure your hands are nice and clean. And I'm gonna go into, with my hands, with clean hands, and I'm gonna combine the flour and uh, um, everything here together with the butter. And you're gonna mix it up. Mix it up, make sure it's combined really well. You want it to be like sand when you're done, so everything's gonna be mixed up really well. Okay guys, so once you've put your butter in here, and you combine it, as I said, it looked like sand over here, right? So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little well, and I'm going to put my um, put my egg right there in the center, my egg that I've beaten up, and I'm gonna go in with some of my water. I'm not gonna use all the water at once, I'm just gonna use some of the water. Just pour some of the water right here in the well. And you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna keep coming around like this. And, and mix it up. And we're gonna mix it in well. You don't want it to be too soft or you don't want it to be too dry. So you can use, you can add more water as you think you need it. So I think I need some more water. So I'm gonna put a little well here, put a little more water in there. And that's how you check your water to just make sure you have the right amount of water. I think this is about good. And I have just a drain, so I use my whole quarter cup of water that I had and then put this out of the way and then all you're gonna do is just go around and mix it up then the next thing you're gonna do is take it and put it next thing I'm gonna do is put it on my counter just make sure your counter is clean and just knead it a little bit you're gonna knead it and you need your, when you're making dough, you need your dough for at least 10 minutes. That way you stretch the gluten 
in the dough. And I'm going to continue to do this for a few minutes and then I'll be right back. So after you've kneaded it for a few minutes, you're going to have a nice ball. And my ball is nice and, and soft. Okay. So you're going to take it like that. And you can get saran wrap. I have a little plastic bag here. You're going to just put it in the plastic bag. You get a bigger bag than I, than I have. I'm going to put it in here. Seal it up. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it set for maybe about 20 minutes. You can put it up to an hour. Let it set in there. And then once it's set, then we're going to come out. We're going to come back. And we're going to make our empanadas. I'll be right back. So our dough has been resting for about 20 minutes. I left it. Now I'm going to take it out of the bag. And I have a little flour. I'm going to spread a little flour on my counter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have my rolling pin here. I'm going to roll this out for a little bit. We just press that over there. And I'm going to roll it out. Okay, I don't see like he's giving his dad a hard time. I can hear him upstairs. You stretch our dough out. Oops. Okay. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I have a cup. You can use a cup if you don't have one of those little thingamabobbies. You can use a cup and just cut it out like that. You're just making, just making some circles here. One more here. Next thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm just gonna take this out here from here, and then what we'll do is we will take and we will take this part right here, and we're gonna go ahead and make some more of these. But in the meantime, I have my disc over here. They have, um, let's see, we have three, we have six, we have seven. And of course, we're going to make some more. But I want to go ahead and show you how to fill the disc or what we're going to do next. Okay, guys, so I'm going to put a little more flour here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rolling pin and I'm going to roll it out a little more just to make it a little bit wider because what I cut it with just now wasn't white enough. So I'm just going to make them, just make them a little bit wider. Okay. So then once I get it to the desired whiteness that I want, then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my meat and put some meat right here in the center. Let me rest that aside. And then once you put your meat in the center like that, you're going to come over and you're going to just fold it over like that. And then you're going to take the side and you're gonna pinch it like that. And just we're just going to bring the bottom and wrap it over the top, basically. And then take this side here pinch it again and just bring it over so we basically just wrapping the top the bottom over the top and that's your empanadas so let me go ahead and do another one 
I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna roll it out a little bit. Put a little bit of flour on there. And just roll it, roll it out. If you have something that you can make the circles a little bit round bigger, that'd be good. But um, I just did it with a cup, but the cup wasn't big enough. So I put a little bit in the center like that. I wrap it over. I'm gonna put this out of my way. Hey, Pippa, be quiet. Bring this over here. And then I take my size and I fold it in. Then I take the bottom and I'm just wrapping the bottom on the top. And you come around as you do that. And then you get to the end, you do the same thing. You pinch it over and pinch it over. And this is what the empanadas and how you fold them. All right, guys, so these is the empanadas that I've made so far. So now we have one more. This is the last one. I'm just going to do the last one again so you can see. So I'm going to roll this out again with my pen. Then I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to roll it again. Just try, I'm just trying to make a nice wrong disc. You know, like your CD player, the disc. Then you take it in your hand. As I say, you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want. And I put a little meat in the center. And then I'm just going to fold it over. I fold it over like that. And when I fold it over, I'm going to take the end and I'm just going to fold it in like that. And then I'm going to come from the bottom and I'm going to fold it over. Just come from the bottom and fold it over. You might have some meat trying to escape. You just push that back in there, fold it over. And then you come back over to this end. You fold this end in. You fold it over. And that is your empanadas okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to again put this down everything it's not hard to do but remember you got to give yourself some time because you're gonna put it down to rest and so on before so before I put this in a pan to fry it I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and get my oil together and as soon as these I take this out we will be frying some Guys, I went ahead and I poured my oil in here. You're gonna pour enough oil in your pan that is gonna cover your empanadas when you put your empanadas in, okay? Okay, guys, our oil is hot. You can test your oil by maybe just dropping a little um, tip of water in there and it starts to bubble, you know your oil is ready. So now what I'm going to do, you're here, that's Camden, you're hearing back there. So now what I'm gonna do is just drop my empanadas in there. I'm going to put about, let's see how much this can hold in here. We're going to put in four. I let it stay here for a few minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're making empanadas, guys. Let's go ahead and turn it. Just make sure you don't burn yourself. I'm gonna flip it a couple of times. I just want both sides to cook evenly. Guys, so the empanadas are all done. Here they are, yummy. And I made a nice cheese sauce to go along with it. You don't need a cheese sauce, you don't have to, 
but if you want you can make a little cheese sauce or you can put your cheese on the inside with your meat it's up to you you, you have choices okay so you're gonna help me taste these mr. Camden we're gonna give it a taste are you gonna yes are you gonna taste it with me okay it is a little bit hot so gotta be careful giving him some but let me go ahead and I want to break it really quickly Let's break it, Camden, so that you can see what the inside looks like. There you go. Looks yummy. And I'm going to dip it in a little bit of sauce. And I'm going to give Camden his first try. But I'm going to cool it for him a little bit. It's a little hot. We don't want to burn the baby. You want to try that? No. Oh! Mm -mm. You don't want to try it? No. Okay, he don't want to try it, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. It is good. The meat on the inside is good. And you have that nice crunchy crust on the outside. It's really good. No? Oh, he's not going to try it. You can make any kind of sauce that you want to go along with it. Uh oh, uh oh. You okay? You okay, baby? You wanna try? No, he's not trying. Guys, that's delicious. And if you want to learn how to make empanadas, this is exactly the way you do it. I'm so glad you were able to join me today. Thank you so much for being here. Guys, don't forget to share the channel so someone else can learn how to do that. Don't forget to give me a like, a subscribe. I thank you so much for being here. Until next time, bye-bye.